everybody, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com, and here behind me is my home studio. And I promise you, I will do a studio tour soon. Uh, the the most recent one is really old, so I will do one, I promise. But today I want to talk about recording piano. So let's quickly flip around, and you'll see over here is my fairly new uh, upright piano. Uh, technically it's a console piano so her name is Consuela Consuela say hello everybody say hello and I love having a real piano it's something I've wanted for a really long time and I'm really glad I finally have one because MIDI piano is great but there's nothing like a real piano even if it's an upright that doesn't have a super full sound of a big grand piano um, you can still get a really cool kind of organic sort of sound from that and it's real and I'm just on this real kick lately real drums uh, real piano, loving it. So the problem with a, an upright piano or a console piano is that, like I said before, they're just not very full sounding. So while they do fit in the side of your room really nicely, they just don't sound super full because they're just not that big. The other big problem is it's hard to get to the actual inside of the piano to get a good sound. For an upright piano, you just open up the, uh, the hinge or the door or the, the top, I guess, and you can just see all the piano parts, stick the mics down in there and get a good sound. It's great. With these, it's not as easy. Now, when I first got this piano, I assumed the way to record this would be through the top. So this top part right here actually lifts up. It's, it's kind of like a door. It's on a hinge, and it lifts up so you can see down and see the hammers. And I thought that'd be the way I'd have to record this. As it turns out, there's a better way. With the top open, you can get a nice, really percussive uh, hammer sound, because the hammers are right there at the top, but you don't get the full body of the piano, so it doesn't work terribly well for a lot of songs. But what I discovered one day is I was fiddling around down here, and if you look over here, let me show you, you'll notice the bottom of this piano looks funny. Well, that's because there used to be this big wooden panel down here, and for aesthetic reasons, it covers up all this of the part of the piano. So when you're just playing this at your grandmother's house for piano lessons, it doesn't make a big deal. It's not a big deal, but for recording it gets in the way. So I found that that panel just pops right off and now I can see the entire inside of this piano and it makes for a great, I repeat, a great piano sound. So I've got two small diaphragm condensers as you can see, one over here and one over here and it just gives me a nice wide stereo image. Now does it sound like a grand piano? No, of course not. But it sounds a lot fuller than I thought it would. In fact, those mics down there sound a lot like what the piano sounds like when I'm playing it. And you get the added benefit, if I ever wanted to do a piano vocal song, the mics are so far away from my voice that I could have a, a mic up here, the uh, piano mics down there, and get a, a fair amount of separation from those. So. If you have an upright piano or have the option to buy one, Craigslist is a great place to find pianos, sometimes for free, but a lot of times for cheap. Um, you can get a good piano sound out of them. So uh, maybe, you didn't, maybe you knew about that trick. I didn't know that you could take that panel off and get a cool piano sound. But let's jump over to the uh, computer, and I'll play you a sample of what I recorded yesterday uh, using this technique. Okay, back over here inside my computer. I'm inside my computer right now. This is the piano part that I re recorded just, uh, just yesterday. And I'm really excited about it. This is for an upcoming album, which you will hear much more about as it gets closer. But I just recorded those two microphones that you saw, which I know a lot of you are going to ask, what microphones are they? Um, I'll talk about that in the future. They're a brand new set of microphones I just received uh, from a company that's a, actually a brand new microphone company. So I'll be reviewing those very soon. But as you can hear, they sound great. So I'll definitely be reviewing them soon. But I had the two microphones. They're kind of a spaced pair sort of recording. Uh, left and right, and they're down there at my feet, as you saw in the video. Uh, one of the downsides of it is that they do pick up some of the foot and pedal noise of me pressing the pedal, but in the mix, I don't really hear it, and the, the tonal uh, quality of it is just great. It's a really cool piano sound, so let's take a listen to it.
See, that's totally, totally usable. Really good piano sound. And for this song especially, it just works really well. So hopefully that gives you some ideas and things to try on your own. I'm not knocking the piano plug-in manufacturers out there. They're great. But um, if you've got a real piano or access to one, it never hurts to have another option for getting some cool sounds in your studio. So there you go. There's a quick way to set up and record and get a good sound out of an upright piano. And for the outro music, let me uh, unmute the rest of the tracks. So you can hear a little, little sneak peek into what this track sounds like. Have a good one. Thanks again. This is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com.